Moochie Robinson up to them. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Moochie Robinson coming in with another video. And before I get into it, please like, share, and subscribe as I bring to you more Eagles content on the daily. Uh, today is it. Today is official. It's Eagles versus the Falcons. Um, it's an away game. Hopefully, we go down, we get that victory, come back, and then we be on the NFC, on top of NFC East as of right now, as far as them Kyle girls being 0-1. Um, uh, now, I will say this. Mike McCarthy, I mean... I guess he's still trying to think. I think he's still trying to change this football team into the Green Bay Packers, and it's not going to work with Dak Prescott. Um, they all look good, though. I mean, they still they still a good compact team. I'm not going front because, as far as with uh, Dak Prescott with his shoulder and his ankle, and he coming back and he playing like that. I mean, they got the wide receivers. Um, they're not using Ezekiel Elliott, right? I mean, you know, once he get the ball, I mean, he do what he do. But if they just not using him enough, and I just don't understand why he should get traded. But um, that's another story. Uh, you know, so I am fearful with them because I'm a realist. Only because they're playing good football. It's just that they couldn't seal the deal, which I'm glad. But today, we're definitely going to seal the deal because we got Hurts. Everybody's not believing in him. That's just a ship on his shoulder. He's going to show you all what he can do. Um, I believe he should have like a 200-yard uh, day today, for real, for real. Uh, as far as with the wide receivers with Smith. Definitely with Smith. Hopefully we can contain. Uh, hopefully he can stay well rested. In far as you no know, not messing up anything. As far as with his knee or his ankle. As far as him doing all that in practice. We got the running game with uh with Miles Sanders, Gainwell, Boston Scott. I want to see how they do. They're going to probably use them as uh, wide receivers just as well. Uh, Raygar, he's going to definitely prove his uh he's going to prove a point today. Watkins, after what he's done in practice and as far as over with the camp. Uh, he definitely made his name for himself. Uh, I want to know who's going to come in as the fourth wide receiver. Hopefully, it might be uh, Ward because, you know, Ward been proved, proven himself. And then we got J.J. Arcega wide side. Hopefully, he'll come in. He'll do damage, like I said. Uh, he's very, like I said, he got hands. It's just that it's the way of way how we will use him right or will they use him right so he can, you know, start opening up in this offense. Uh, shout out to Joey. Um, mm, shout, shout out to Jordan Malata for me having a four-year extension that came out of nowhere, uh, four years, sixty-four million, and all together it could be eighty million with incentives. So, as of today, I'm pretty sure once he since he signed for that, he's definitely going to start um, protecting Hurts with no problem. It should be no problem at all. This whole line should be protected, should be protecting Hurts at all times. Hurts should not be running the ball as much. He should not be like a Michael Vick. For real, for real, through this whole entire season, the only time he should run is if he need to get you know at least ten yards or at least get a first down, five yard run, run out of bounds, play it smart, don't um, force it, nothing because we have the wide receivers. We definitely got speed on this team. This time we got speed. We're not talking about how Carson Wentz used to say hike and hold the ball on for so long and not throwing it out or trying to make something. I understand you're trying to make something happen, but the smart way is to just throw it out so you don't use your um yardage. Uh. So the only people that I um, that that I fear over in the Falcons is um, Kyle Pitts and Riley or Ridley, the wide receivers. That's it. But other than that, um, Kyle Pitts only because one he's from Philly. I know he's gonna make a name for himself. He's playing against Philadelphia Eagles. He's gonna definitely show us people at home like, listen, this is what I can do. As long as we can contain him, we we are we're perfectly fine. Um, our defense with Sweat. With um, Brandon Graham, with Fletcher Cox, uh, the whole defensive line, Hartgrave, we should all just bum rush and we need to hurry up and get um, Matt Ryan. We should be tackling for days, point blank period. Uh, and with uh, oh man, with with the other defensive end from uh, Washington, we should be getting in that offensive line like crazy today. We need to at least, I swear, we should at least have a good three sacks today and I'm not even I'm not even BSing I'm not even playing when I say that we need to be dominant on um the, the defense side of the ball I'm pretty sure they're going to get in there we're going to be having we're going to have fun but at the same time we're going to dominate into that offense like crazy now the only linebacker that I believe in right now as of right now Sean Bradley he's has proven I'm not talking about Sean Bradley but I'm pretty sure I don't think he's going to start today but he's proven he definitely proven that he's um 
a thorough linebacker as of right now. Last year, I wasn't so, you know, hype on him, but this year he definitely stepped his game up. Now, Eric Wilson, he's the only one that I believe in that he will get in there and just bum rush and mess up everything uh, as far as, you know, messing up the whole offensive line for the Falcons. Uh, our line, our uh, cornerbacks are, uh, I don't know if Kayvon Wallace might be starting, but as long as we could contain and we should be dominant. I believe that the score is going to be 24-28. It might be close only because we haven't seen everybody official, you know, as far as playing in the preseason, as far as them being well-rested and, you know, being on the sideline. They haven't played. They played football, but, you know, as far as being in practice. But now that this is the real deal, I'm pretty sure they're going to go to the forefront and they're going to give it all they got. So hopefully we will go down there and get that one Want to know, uh, do something totally different because, you know, this is, not, this is not Doug Peterson being on the sidelines just trying to play mind games and all this and third. Now we got Nick Sirianni. Uh, best believe that with the Nick Sirianni, far as him coming in, you're going to see a lot of Colts and a lot of um, charger uh, offensive scheme as far as them throwing the ball and, you know, getting things together and all that. So, uh, Gannon, I know he got something in the tuck as far as uh, keeping – uh oh man, I forgot how like as far as they doing eleven on elevens. I'm pretty sure they all gonna be playing man, so they all gonna be around each other. Uh, that to the point where even when they throw the ball, it's just gonna be man coverage. Uh, listen, I'm just excited. I can't wait. It's like almost two hours until kickoff. Um, I'm definitely going. This is just my perspective of before the game, and I'm definitely gonna get with y'all after the game around four thirty, maybe five o'clock. Now, um, before I go, I want to shout out to Philly Fresh. Philly Fresh been in the hospital. For two weeks, but hopefully he'll come back. Speedy recovery. Yo, uh, he got yo that nation gang. You know what I'm saying? So, speedy recovery, my guy. After I just seen him on uh, Twitter today, um, big shout out to you. Hopefully you come back and um, we start talking football because we got like 17 weeks uh, as of right now. So until then, I'm Moochie Robinson. Please like, share, and subscribe. Get with me as I'm on my way again to a thousand subscribers and. Not to mention, this is my second year. So this is like my second season doing this. So I'm very excited about that. And there's more to come. I do want to tell y'all a little, well, and get with my uh, guy. Uh, um, we got another podcast. Get with me and my guy, Pablo Gary, and a newcomer named Danny. So you're going to definitely see us in the mix. So until then, I'm Uchi Robinson. I'm out.